And now developing this morning, murder charges have been filed against a third person for the 2002 fatal shooting of Run DMC's Jam Master J. CBS News' Daniel Maldonado has the details live from a stretch of the 205th Street in Hollis, Queens, named for the legendary hip-hop DJ. Zinnia? Well, Chris and Mary, yeah, Hollis, Queens, the birthplace of Run DMC. Over the years, countless fans coming out to the mural behind me to pay their respects for Jam Master Jay after he was killed inside his studio in Jamaica, Queens, back in 2002. And now a third person charged for his death 21 years later. Jason William Mizell, better known as Jam Master J, was the DJ of the influential hip hop group Run DMC. The group from Hollis, Queens, credited with breaking hip hop into mainstream music during the 1980s. Mizell was found fatally shot in his Queens studio back in 2002. Tuesday, federal prosecutors filed a superseding indictment charging 49 year old Jay Bryant of Jamaica, Queens, in connection with Mizell's death. Prosecutors say Bryant was seen entering Mizell's studio in Queens, along with two other men charged the night Mizell died, adding Bryant's DNA was found at the scene and he later admitted to participating in the murder. Bryant's attorney saying in an email, securing an indictment in a secret grand jury, applying an extremely low burden of proof is one thing. Proving it at trial is another matter. Back in 2020, Carl Jordan Jr. and Ronald Washington were also charged for Mizell's death. According to court documents, Mizell had been trafficking cocaine and Jordan Jordan and Washington plotted his murder after they were cut out of a deal. Prosecutors say Jordan was the one who walked up to Mizell and shot him in the head. All three suspects then took off. Now, Bryant is currently being held on unrelated federal drug charges and is expected to be arraigned at a later date. Both Jordan and Washington have pled not guilty and are scheduled for trial in January of next year. Live this morning from Hollis, Queens, Zinnia Maldonado, CBS 2 News. Zinnia, thank you.